Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central. I'm in the Sharp booth where I'm looking at the uh, Hextronics display, uh, which is down here. Uh, this is a 7 inch uh, uh, prototype, uh, 1280 by uh, 800 uh, resolution. Uh, this Pixtronics display is a MEMS based display that uh, the company showed uh, actually last year. Uh, it's a joint venture between uh, Qualcomm slash Pixtronics, uh, Qualcomm bought Pixtronics, uh, and Sharp. Uh, Sharp manufactures the display uh, in, in Japan. Uh, and this is actually coming off of a, of a production line at this point. Uh, and now there's no, um, uh, they have very few specs available. Uh, so what we do know is it's, um, it's a 1200 by 1280 by 800. It's got about 122 percent uh, NTSC color gamut, uh, which is a little bit more than than uh, what you get from the OLED. Uh, power consumption, they're saying, is about one half of, of an equivalent uh, LCD of, of that size and resolution. Uh, and it also uses the uh, the IGZO backplane, uh, so that gives you uh, benefits in terms of low noise uh, and the stability to drive the uh, the MEMS mirrors. So um, we have a, a structure diagram up here, uh, and the way this thing works is you have a uh, an RGB uh, backlight section. Uh, on top of that, there's an aperture glass, uh, and then they fabricate. Um, they, they create a, an active matrix backplane with with IGZO, and then on top of that, they put a, a MEMS layer. Now, what the MEMS layer does, uh, it's not like DLP. It's not a switching mirror. It's like a um, a pocket door, imagine if you will. So it kind of slides sideways. Uh, when the aperture is closed, you're blocking the light from the backplane. You open it up, and you allow uh, light to come through. Uh, so grayscale is is modulation of that to the the brightness level that uh, that's desired. Um, and um, it, it, it essentially now becomes a field sequential color device. So you turn on the red, uh, you, you do modulation to get the red uh, images that you want, turn on the blue LED, etc. cetera. Um, I asked what the, uh, the field rate was, and they said it's greater than 2,000 hertz. Uh, now, th I, they were a little unclear exactly if that's a field rate, if that's a combination of field and modulation. Um, so that's the only number that's Put forth. Uh, they are talking uh, in the last year. They've also been working on um, in improving the processes to manufacture this. Uh, so at this point, they're saying uh, they will have samples for customers in Q4. Uh, it will be this seven-inch uh, device. Uh, so that will be. Uh, I think people will be very interested in getting a hold of that. They've also been working on the algorithms. Uh, to improve the, the performance, and specifically working on the uh, the algorithms for uh, color breakup. If you have a, a field sequential color device, you can have color breakup, a rainbow effect. Uh, so this is, has been a problem. Uh, historically, was a problem with DLP projectors, and for some people, it's still a slight problem. Clearly, uh, some people are more sensitive to that than others. Um, I am not particularly sensitive to it, but when I do the, the DLP wave. Uh, in front of this device, I can actually see some some rainbow. So they've uh, apparently greatly improved it, and it looks for, for normal video and stills, uh, you won't see the, um, the, the color breakup. But if you do um, you know, the rain, the DLP, DLP wave, you can't see it. Um, also, um, they are thinking about doing uh, another product uh, for the automotive market, probably sometime in 2015. Uh, the, the suggestion might be a three and a half inch device um, that would be useful for uh, a HUD product. Uh, that would be in the uh, I think 300 or so uh, DPI range. So uh, I think that's about all I know uh, right now. Um, oh, I have a couple more specs. There is no polarizer, there's no color filter uh, on this. Uh, you end up with about 60% uh, transmissivity, 8,000 to 1 contrast, very wide viewing angles. So from a very high level point of view, and, and sunlight readable. Um, so from a very high point of view, uh, point of view, this is a very, very interesting display. It could be a home run for sure. I think in that. Uh, bring this to, to market at uh, plus competitive prices and high yields. So, uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.